Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brock, and I'm back with a new Minecraft video. I've been out for a long time. Sorry about that, guys. I've been really, really busy with school. Uh, my mom's been giving me trouble, all this kind of stuff, but, uh... Anyway, I'm back. I got a bank account as well, so my PayPal is up and working, and I'm actually, uh, able to spend it. Thank God. I'm just sitting there, useless. So I've been, uh, buying some indie games, having, having just a jolly old time. But anyway, the video that you just saw is, uh, I've been playing a lot of survival PvP servers on Minecraft, and I've really gotten into them. And it's the, like, hardcore, you know, like, um, griefing is allowed, stealing is allowed, all that kind of stuff. So I've actually devised my own system for you guys and for myself, so when you're in a PvP server, no one will be able to find your chest. Or your, your rare chest. So basically, this is it. Um, it uses the same type of, uh, how should I put this, the same <laughs> structure as the, um, the piston door would. It's very simple to set up. What you're going to need, let's see, what you're going to need is, you know what, I'll go ahead and set one up for you guys. Make a little display here. What you're going to want to have is some redstone. Uh, a few repeaters, and a lever, obviously, and three sticky pistons. So I'll just go ahead and make a big old stone wall here. Alright, so as you'll notice, um, this it's basically virtu it's virtually impossible to find unless the person that is in your house has some kind of x-ray hack or something. But um, to make it even more hard to find, uh, I put stone slabs on the bottom, there. that way when... Uh, that way, when the the, p the pistons pull out and the chest comes, it's even harder to see because it's like half a block open to where you can just kind of peek in, get in your chest. So that's what I do. I like to have my floor as uh, that, but it doesn't really matter, so we're not going to do that on the display. But uh, you can if you'd like. So, basically, you're going to have your wall, and what you want to do is you want to find a point that you will remember to put your, your lever down when you want to put it down. So if you have a wall, maybe put a couple of torches here and your lever spot is next to your torch or something like that. Something that you will remember so you don't have to go breaking into your nice smooth stone wall all the time. So we're going to have ours right here. So what you're going to do is you want to get some redstone. I'd say you probably need about... Well, I guess we'll find out. You don't need that much redstone. You need uh, a little redstone. Ooh, excuse me. Little redstone, um, two repeaters. So let's get some repeaters here. So we'll just see how much redstone you need. But first thing you want to do is this is what three blocks up. You want to link up your lever with redstone behind your wall. Now, using the same uh, properties, I guess you could say, as the, um, the piston door method where uh, pistons, where one piston pulls out the block and then two more pistons pull that piston in. You're going to have this block open, so that's where you'll peek through to see your chest. So what you're going to have is your piston here, and you're going to put your block over that. Now, you're going to have two more sticky pistons, one block away, looking at this, so that when it pulls back this block, it will pull away the block and the piston back here. Now, what you want to do is you want to make one of these. Don't know what it's called. I'm sure there's a term for it, but uh, you want to have a block here, have it touching the block, and have a redstone torch on the other side. This way, when you have it'll be activated here and it'll invert. So when you pull down this lever, this redstone, these these pieces of redstone here will turn on, and that redstone will turn off so that you'll have these pistons activated so the block will be pushed in and these pistons will be pushed out so when you deactivate it it'll pull the block in and pull the piston pull the piston out so go ahead and hit the lever again all right so now what you want to do is you want to have boop, boop, two pistons two redstone repeaters behind these two that are going to pull this back because you want them to have stallation if that's a word you want, to, you want them to stall before they pull back pull like this piston, otherwise it'll glitch out. So you want to pull them all the way back to the last... 
You want to click it three times, pull the right click it three times to pull the redstone torch all the way back to the last notch. And um, now you want to go ahead and put in. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna bring this one higher. Sorry, I might mess you up there. That way, um, it won't interfere with this redstone because you don't want to interfere with this redstone. So you want to connect these two. I'm gonna drop it down one. Actually, two. So it connects back up with this and activates those. Now this is just a link up with this one, this piston here. And you're virtually done. So you can cover this up. So this way, flip the lever. Uh oh, what do I do? Did I miss something? Oh, my bad. Sorry, I forgot a piece of redstone. Yeah, so if with this, if you want to have it, um, right there, you're going to need to put it all the way over the block with the redstone. So as you can see, hold on, let me try to, uh, I'm going to try to get a visual here for you guys. So, let me hit this off. Okay, so as you can see right now, this piston, pushing the stone block here into place, so it's nothing's visible. And when you hit the lever, it's going to pull that stone block back and then it pull that these two pistons pull that back to this side. So it's basic. It's really really basic. Um, if you care about that redstone showing, uh, that redstone there. If you care about that showing, if you're kind of like I don't know, I don't know why you would care about that showing, but if you do, you can actually have it like this. Put a block here and a repeater there, and it will actually go through the block and still work and activate it so that when when you pull this back there's no redstone showing. So if that's what you prefer you can do that. It doesn't really matter to me though, it's just hiding your chest. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the tutorial guys. Please leave a like and comment and favorite and whatnot. Uh, if this, especially if this helps you in your survival server. I know it helped me. I've, I've been grieved many times before I made this up. So. Oh, I am so bad at that. Um, yeah, and videos will come more often, guys. I've been really busy. I'll try to get them out more often. There, you have some rare steaks now. Steaks are your rarest thing. Uh, so I'll be trying to release more videos. Uh, if you want more videos like this, some tutorials, I make... I, I'm not a redstone wizard, but, um... I make little things that are fun to make. I make piston doors and stuff, but I'm not the best with it. But if you want to see more of my little things that I create that are helpful, uh, please tell me. Uh, say so in the comments, because I thought this was immensely helpful. I thought I'd share it with you guys. So again, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Be ready for more videos. Love you guys. Peace out.